Hey there, it's Ian Smith, and today in Transition Snippets, I wanted to talk about mindset, and entrepreneurial mindset in particular. Now, all of you, if you're a business owner, you've got some DNA, some, some entrepreneurial DNA in your system already. You, if you didn't, you wouldn't be an entrepreneur. Uh, and that tells me you're an optimist, probably an internal optimist. You only see uh, the half, the, the cups being half full, not half empty. And you're, you're excited about the, the opportunity to grow your business. But here's something to think about. When, when I think about entrepreneurial mindset, I, I'm not thinking about the, the early stages of an entrepreneurial adventure, but the, the, the more advanced stages. So now you've grown a business and you've, you've got regular recurring income, you've got good solid customers, you've got all those sorts of relationships, you've got a nice team working with you. But you, you think a lot about things like reducing taxes, reducing um, maybe your audit costs and your insurance costs, and maybe holding off on hiring that, that employee that, that could really help you to take the business to the next level because it's an extra cost. And I think that if we focus on cost um, uh, too much, we end up losing sight of the growth opportunities. Or we subconsciously, I think our brains kind of say, oh, wait a minute, that's going to be too risky. Or, hey, let's let's hold off on that. And you may not realize it, but saying, hey, I, I'm not, uh, I want to reduce my taxes. I, want, I don't want to pay more taxes. Well, you know, if you make more money, you pay more taxes. Uh, you know, given that uh, hopefully you're putting the right tax plans in place and right other, you know, insurance and other things in place. Um, so if you've got those things in place, the only reason you're going to be paying more taxes is A, you've made more money, or B, the government is charging a higher percentage of tax because they're having to pay for all the COVID relief that they've uh, put out the last year or so. So think about that when you're when you're making uh, or thinking about new decisions, whether it's hiring new people, uh, worrying about your tax bills, which I, you know I've just filed my taxes uh, just this this week, so that's maybe why it's top of mind. Um, but think about it as well with expenses like your audit fees. You know, maybe it's time to step up from a reviewed or a, a compiled statement, or what we in Canada we call a notice to reader statement, and step up to that audit uh, report because it is a it is an expense. But I would look at it as an investment. Uh, it's an investment to get better knowledge about the inner workings of your business, better knowledge about your financial controls, and therefore better results. So if you think of it only as an expense, it has a negative connotation. If you think of it as an, as an investment in the future of the business and growth of the business, you probably won't have uh, the same kind of concerns about it. Or you know, it's still a, it's still extra money out out the door uh, in the first year before you start to see those results. So that was the thought for the day is, you know, let's keep our, our entrepreneur mindset strong. Let's not stress and think too much about uh, the downside of additional taxes or additional costs if it's really there to, to show that you're building a, a much stronger, more sustainable, uh, better business. And that was it for today. So I hope you have a great day uh, with your business and with whatever else you're doing these days. So take care and look forward to seeing you on my next uh, transition snippet. Bye.